The Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy revised the lead and copper rule in 2018. Michigan now has the most strict lead and copper requirements in the country. The City of Saginaw is committed to meeting and exceeding these requirements. The City's processes include water testing, lead and copper sampling, and lead service line replacement. The water treatment plant is required to produce water with effective corrosion control. Routine testing ensures we are meeting those requirements. Lead service line replacement is required to be performed at an average rate of 5% per year. The city is working hard at replacing lead pipes with the preferred copper material. Lead and copper testing of household water is also required as a part of the rule. The city works with homeowners like you to get 30 of these samples each year. Here's how it works. The city samples homes each summer to test for lead and copper. The homes we test must have a lead service line. Staff will schedule a sample time at your convenience. We will collect water from your kitchen sink after six hours has passed during which no water has been used in the whole house. This represents water which has been sitting unused in your plumbing. Two city workers will come to collect the first and fifth liter water sample. One worker will sample the water. He or she will place a sample bottle under the faucet and run cold water into the bottle for testing. They will then fill a second container with an intermediate sample which is not saved and lastly will collect one more bottle of water for testing. These two bottles are tested for lead and copper content by a certified lab. The second city worker will do a plumbing inspection. The inspector will note plumbing composition and any items that may make your household plumbing less desirable. The workers will also clean your faucet screens and provide information about reducing your potential exposure to lead and copper. Once the sample report is available, you will be notified of the results of your household samples. The city maintains a list of 100 interested homes willing to participate in the lead and copper sampling. Contact the city to be placed on the qualified site waiting list. As previous sample locations become unavailable, you will be contacted for sampling.